Okay, today we are going to do a short demo on performance trends compression ratio calculator. The first thing that I want you to take a look at is the inputs. If we click on an input such as the bore, if you come down here to the help section, you can see cylinder bore measured in inches. If we click on the different inputs, this help area down here will tell us what this is for. We can also do it in calculated results. Okay, the first thing that I want to do is I want to open up an existing file. So I'm going to go to File, Open. And we're going to open up a Ford 302. You can see that we get uh, all of the information inputted. And we have a compression ratio of 9.07 for a stock uh, Ford 302. I believe this is about a 1987. And also, we're just going to make a couple of changes. You can see that uh, the piston design is a top dish for this. That means that it has a concave um, top to the piston. I'm going to change this to a dome top. And you can come back here and you can see that our, cha that our compression ratio changed from 9.07 to 9.75. So and you can make any kind of a change in here that you want. We could even change our gasket thickness. Put that down to a 2. It's not going to make a huge difference. But it does make a difference. Let's see. The next thing that I'd like to point out are the options. The simplest inputs are the ones that we started out with. This is what you would get um, in our demo mode. And we can change this um, to more inputs. Like this particular engine has detailed inputs with deck height. Um, detailed inputs with deck height and dynamic compression ratio. Another thing that we can do is that we can change this from um, inches to millimeters. And you can see here that everything has been changed. Um, from inches into metric. Let's see, another thing that I'd like to point out is that you can make a comment in here. Now this comment will be printed on the, um, on the final report. Uh, I'm also going to point out later that you can add more comments um, when you are printing, but this comment here will be included whether you um, put it, well, this will be included no matter what. Let's cancel out of here. The next thing that I want to do is I want to do a file save as. Now, if I were to do a file save, it would change all the information from our, from our library file uh, to all the changes that we've made. And we don't really want to do that. We want to do a save as so that we have two different files and we can come back to the original file later on. And I'm just going to name this test. Ford 302 test. We'll do a save. And then you can see up here on the very top that it changes the name to Ford 302 test. Let's see. Another issue that I wanted to point out is printing. We can do a print screen as is, but we can also do a print with comments. And we can add any type of a comment in here that we like. And this will go above and beyond the comments that we, that we printed before. And this concludes our presentation of the Performance Trends Compression Ratio Calculator.